Copenhagen is a city that offers a variety of activities from historical sites to modern attractions. One of the best ways to experience the city is by walking around the water. The city is surrounded by water and has a number of canals that run through it. Today we'll take a walk around the water in Copenhagen and see some of the sites that one shouldn't miss along the way. Having already explored the Little Mermaid statue, the Langelinia Park, the Gifjorn Fountain and the Castellet. Link for all the individual videos are on screen. We continue our walk by the water. Crossing the AP Muller Maersk headquarters and walking towards the promenade, we are back at the historical location where we most coincidentally saw the Danish Queen. The path leading to the Royal Palace of Amelienborg is full of beautiful sculptures and amazing views. The city infrastructure is extremely bicycle friendly and you'll notice many cyclists along the way as well. The views stay fantastic throughout the walk and the famous Opera House can be seen right across as well. As a sailor myself, the sight of old vintage boats always makes me appreciate the navigators from yesteryears, who used to sail the high seas on these classics. That's when being a navigator needed skill, courage and seamanship. Today it's all about automation. By the way, these vintage boats are docked right behind the Admiral Hotel. It's a hotel with a lot of history and is one of the most iconic places to stay in Copenhagen. Click the video link on screen if you want to know more about the hotel and what it looks like from inside. I wanted to go inside the Opera House but was closed for public visit due to a private performance that evening. So this is the best view I got. Reaching here is easy. I just walked along the water and crossed this beautiful bridge. Speaking of which, there are so many bridges and canals in the city, each with incredibly breathtaking views. The New Haven area, link on screen, is the most popular of them all. Boat canal tours are an excellent option for sightseeing too. Walking around the water in Copenhagen is a great way to see some of the city's most famous sites. Falling along this path leads to the beautiful Christianshavn. This neighborhood is known for its narrow canals, colorful houses and of course, Christiania. It was amazing to explore this part of the city. More details in the video. Link on screen. Overall, whether you are interested in history, architecture or just taking a stroll, walking around the water is a great way to experience the beauty and charm of Copenhagen. Do like and share this video and subscribe to be notified for more travel content just like this. As always, thanks for watching, keep exploring. This is Rahul for Roma Realm and I'll see you in the next one.